Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next part of shopping cart project in ASP.NET Core 6.0. So uh, that uh, is a uh, UI uh, for the shopping cart that is already done in the last video tutorial. So when we click on the details page and uh, you will see that the ID property of uh, the details and uh, just uh, in this video i'm going to add the details of um, inside the home controller of your customer accounts so just add it here just after the index page where your all the products are clear and in you know that in the product.js file we have two buttons that is edit and uh, um, edit and delete also but in the details we have a index page so details uh, you know that just i want to show the card details also and details uh, just show the product id as well as the user id and just i want to uh, add uh, in the cart so design a cart model uh, just first of all create a cart view model and a letter uh, in the letter session i will uh, add that cart in the model session okay so in the cart you notice that uh, product uh, that product is getting from the database table by using the unit of work. So unit of work dot product dot get x dot id product id and respective their categories is also uh, used. So include properties is category count is the by default one and the product id is the uh, navigation key or the route id you can say that is the product id. So add a new card uh, view model under uh, data access layer where your view model exists. So just create a new class cart and in which class uh, you can add these properties like that uh, ID, product ID, product, application user ID and application user and also you can add the count property because all these products are countable uh, okay so uh, that property is must to add into the cart okay so count one two three how many products you want to take it in, into the cart okay so product id product user id and application user id is also there but application user is not found so add a new class in the model session that is the application user and remember that uh, i already discussed that is cart in the later video i will add that cart that is um, that is added in the view model in the uh, later session i will add that cart in the model also okay so just create a new class that is application user actually application user is a part of identity so application user class must have to inherit from the identity uh, identity user class and you know that identity user is also is uh, also have in the separate and uh, namespace and a separate package so just uh, just you have to add your uh, identity user in the package that is microsoft asp.net core dot identity dot entity framework core so uh, first of all add a new class that is application user class and application user class is inherited from the identity user so just copy that code and paste it here application user and and application user is inherited from the identity user so identity user is actually uh, first of all resolve that required property that is annotations for the uh, component dot annotations property and identity user is mm, use mm, package microsoft asp.net core that is not uh, available at here so just uh, download it from your nuget package manager so mm, oops package manager mm, nuget package manager and just click on the browse tab and just add a microsoft dot asp.net core dot identity dot entity framework core okay so after that you have to download your uh, asp.net core process you can resolve your identity user namespace and in this video i'm going to also show you how to add the card detail into the cards but uh, in the latter video i will uh, discuss uh, about the post action method of the card okay so uh, just uh, design the card details uh, in this video so that is the part of uh, that is the part of this video that is needed for the application user because just i want to uh, say that uh, only a user can see our card details so application user is needed so uh, 
ident so application user is inherited from the identity because identity in this project uh, i was i use identity uh, if you check in the previous videos so that's that's it so uh, just go uh, for the application user and just resolve that uh, namespace error and go for it okay okay that's problem is resolved and you can see in the cart where your uh, application user is exist and just resolve this problem first of all namespace in the details action method of the cat action detail method and you will see that's that's nice and in the cart your application user id is all already uh, resolved that's fine and uh, i think it is very cool and uh, and in this okay so just go for the uh, next section that is uh, add a new view inside your detail page so just right click on the details action method and add and add views and <coughs> in the card details uh, you know that um, cart is uh, clear where in the card model we have a product um, count and product id is there and return to view for the card so uh, just right click on the detail action method and add a new view and we have already a designed view for the card details so just um, remember that you can design your card details because uh, that is part that is a part of uh, the bootstrap and that is a part of design you can say that is a part of ui so you can design yourself uh, if you want to design uh, your way so you can uh, you can do it okay so i have already created in the card details so detail page is also uh, created by me in the bootstrap uh, if you want to copy that just uh, you can see that code so add uh, by uh, add a new view by using scaffolding so just right click on the detail section method and add a view okay so that's fine and after that just copy that code that is already designed code by me that is here and just add a new model section just top of the row that is add the red model and uh, model the name uh, shopping cart dot uh, data access layer dot view models dot cart you know that in the letter session uh, i already disc i already uh, um, I already cleared that uh, that cart is added into the, into the model. That time is actually added in the view model. So in the uh, in the CSS HTML page, if we have some just increase the size of the view studio fonts. So here we have a product details. So in the um, product details, the action method is the post and the bootstrap class row in which the first column have a product image URL and the product ID and the uh, product ID detail is the product mm, model.product.name model.product.description also price and the category name and also we have a count property that is there yes before for the count class actually count is actually uh, is it's a number where uh, count is related to the quantity you can say so uh, cart have a quantity okay so uh, you can check in your amazon uh, and uh, and any other shopping sites where you are you can see that the count detail, counts is also clear count is uh, related to your product so count is related to the quantity so just run your uh, product and you will see that the output of your project here we go or just click on the detail action method and that is fine the product name is this description product price count is there okay just when we click on the add to cart button that information will be added into the database table and uh, that information will be added into the card so card is a part of model so just uh, remember that a card is just a drag and drop into the model and change just change the namespace okay so just here we have a card and just drop in into the models and 
model we have in namespace that is data access layer so just remove that and add it in the models okay that's fine and also change in the home controller and the csstml file okay so just remove that from here okay that's fine that's fine okay now in the uh, just close it card.css.cs and in the details.css.html file you can see in the top of a row where your view model dot cart is exist so just remove that section and add shopping cart dot models dot cart okay that's fine now uh, now that's fine in the home controller section also resolve the namespace for that related, related to the cart just close it and in the home controller uh, just you got the error so just uh, click on it right uh, control dot to resolve the namespace oops using cart shopping cart model dot cart is also there and shopping cart dot data access dot uh, also there so just remove there and view model is also removed from here and you will see that the card uh, detail is clear so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core projects and in the next video i am going to add the post method of the data election method that information will be added into the cart model so just add it here and you will notice that some of error like claims identity uh, first of all just i want to get the current user and the logged in user so authorized attribute is also added into the uh, details page only the authorized user uh, add uh, the products information into their cart so just add the authorized attribute and in the model state is valid claims identity just uh, get the current uh, logged in user by using the claims identity so, so claims identity dot find first claims types dot name identity fire application user id that is claims dot value so uh, wait for the latter videos and uh, latter videos i will complete the card uh, details thank you very much for watching this video